Mr. Tijan, Tiam, board chairman of uh, the Rwanda Finance Limited. Mr. Ravi Menon, managing director of the Monetary Authority of Singapore. Global FinTech leaders and stakeholders, ladies and gentlemen, all protocols observed. Good afternoon. I thank you for having me here, and I hope that Kigali has been hospitable to you. Dear friends, for all the rapid progress we have uh, experienced and new knowledge we have acquired, an old problem has made its way on the train with us. For many women who have grown up in a world that was not built in their image, occupying space in emerging markets is an uphill battle. And yet, unless all potential is yielded and all contributions are counted, we as populations will always fall short of the achievements that are, in fact, within our grasp. I share your conviction that uh, FinTech can bridge the existing gaps in financial inclusion, even more so with AI revolutionizing the worlds of finance, technology, and a number of other industries central to our development. FinTech can and will spur economic growth and financial stability for our continent's skilled, youthful communities in line with global frameworks for sustainable development. Rwanda has taken encouraging steps in gender mainstreaming, gender responsive budgeting, and ensuring female representation at all levels of leadership. But of course, this is, isn't enough. Financial backing for women-led fintech solutions must carry strong, compelling incentives, not because women are in need of assistance, but because equality is their legitimate right. After all, it's all about the brain which all men and women possess. It would be a shame and a failure not to gain from uh, their equal capabilities. We believe that inclusion must be intentional, systematic, and yes, compulsory to prevent the waste of talent, skills, and expertise. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish to repeat this by limiting the space for women in finance and technology. We are not just failing women, but we are failing everyone. So I ask of the, the women before me to say no to a few things. No to thinking of yourself as a guest in a male space. No to imposter syndrome and doubting your equal ability to perform or to become the next exciting big development in FinTech. No to considering your gender and handicap in your field but rather understanding that the mentality that discriminates against you is the burden to FinTech. And instead, women in finance, girls in ICT, yes to being mentors and sources of inspiration for your fellow women and to younger girls for whom you have paved the way. Yes to demanding accountability from the regulatory frameworks tasked with your inclusion and yes, to speaking out in rooms where you might be the minority, but where your expertise and experience make your voices worthy of being heard. We've learned so much from the COVID pandemic. Indeed, at a time when uh, many were left struggling to make sense of uh, the new normal. Women as uh, natural multitaskers, admirably, juggled the many demands of uh, their home life and uh, professions, gracefully playing their parts in technical fields. So whatever the future holds, both male and female innovators have developed crucial tools to help us manage future challenges akin to what we have overcome. 
and for this and for your commitment to a more inclusive tech space, we thank you. I wish you all a great session and thank you for your kind attention.